are in the 6th century when in the middle of the day the sky suddenly gets dark and a dust valley settles for months, resulting in a year without summer. This is what Scandinavian societies may have experienced following the two volcanic eruptions in 536 and 540 AD. What would we do if such an event would happen today? Adaptation to climate change is crucial for societies. To prosper, the ancestors of the Vikings were already able to adapt their way of living to climate change. To adapt our modern society to current and future climate changes, we need to know the drivers of climate changes better. Volcanic eruptions have participated in changing the climate over the last 2,000 years. The gases and ashes emitted during volcanic eruptions sent high into the atmosphere reflect the sun rays and cool the climate. But how cold and how long-lasting is the cooling after such an eruption? How vulnerable are societies to climate change and what can we learn from past experiences? Vikings is a multidisciplinary project that aims to understand the role of volcanic eruptions and climate change in shaping the early history of Scandinavia between the 6th and the 13th century, combining volcanology, ice core, tree rings, lake sediment, archaeology, and climate modeling. Following the double volcanic event of 536-540, our climate model reveals that there is pronounced cooling over Scandinavia lasting approximately for 20 years, which could have led to the North Smith of the Fimbul winter, referring to multi-annual long-lasting winter. The archaeological record of the 6th century testified to profound social change. Whereas some areas seem to have adapted successfully, others seem to have experienced hardship and failure. Abandonment of settlements suggest a profound crisis. Monumental great months were built, suggesting new leadership ideals and social structure. The largest of the Mount, Hagnehorgen, just north of Oslo, was built with timber from the surroundings. The tree rings from the Mount were analyzed. They have recorded the climate of this period. The summer of 536 was so cold that the trees didn't grow and the ring of this year is almost invisible. The sediment of the lake next to Hagnehorgen have also recorded past temperature for this period. The analysis of pollen and DNA of the lake sediments allowed us to reconstruct past agricultural practices. We have shown that during cold period, husbandry was prominent, while during warm period, cereals cultivation was more important, suggesting that pre-Viking society adapted to climate change between 300 and 800 AD. Using this multidisciplinary approach, we shed more light into the dust vial triggered by volcanic eruption and better understand the resulting social environmental dynamics in southeastern Norway in the historical periods.